I did uh, previously. Since we're on the local area network, our domains are going to be 192.168.1.5. If you're connecting from outside of your network, say if from like your company that you're working at or from outside of state, you'd want to enter the outside IP, excuse me, outside IP address that you found in ipmonkey.com. So both of these should be matching. Also, before you go to connect, just make sure some of the settings are corrected. Uh, you know, for your display, you can make your your display come up um, kind of at a lower quality to give you more um, more speed, or you could set this for more quality rather than speed. So really, these settings are going to allow you to either have quality or speed. Uh, trying to select the right settings to give you the best of both worlds uh, could take some time. We don't want to connect any printers or disk drives or serial ports. Um, we're going to bring the audio to this computer. Programs, you can set up a program to start once you log into the system. And experience is a big one. If you're connecting from your, uh, from a different network, say if you're at work and you want to access the computer at your home, uh, set this up to like modem 56K. You'll see some of these settings change. If you're going to be accessing the same computer that's on your network, what I'd like to do is just activate all of these because we have a very fast local network here. Uh, we're running at a gig speed. So once these settings are set up and you have your IP address in there, you can connect up to it. Now like I said, make sure that when you created your user it has an admin account. If it doesn't have an administrative account and it's set up to limited, you're going to have to add that user in the remote tab once you click right click. Uh, my computer, go to properties, and you'll see the remote tab click there. And you'll have to add that user manually. So we set up the test user with the test password. Let's try to connect. Since this is a new user, we just set up. It's going to take a little bit. It's actually going to set up their configuration for it. Some firewall settings. We can close that. You also notice while it's connecting, we can minimize this. You're always going to see the IP address that you're connecting to up here. You can change some of these settings if you wanted to. You know, you can minimize this if you're, you know, connecting up to it, if you need to go back to your client machine. Okay, so now we're logged in. All right, let's say that we're, we're typing away and uh, um, we're using Microsoft Word, and all of a sudden it comes up with um, an error has occurred. Okay, so we have to close the Microsoft Word program. If we go back to start and we try to open it up and nothing comes up, and you go to Alt-Control-End, and you look for the processes and you can't seem to fix it, well, like I said, if you try to shut down the computer or turn it off, you're kind of locked out until a local user logs in uh, to that target machine. Um, so what you can do is, like I said before, you can go to Start, Log Off. We're going to log off of the test user, and our connection closes. What we need to do is log on under Test 2 to basically clear any errors. Uh, so what we can do is we can go to Run. We can type in MSTSC and run it. We'll make sure our settings are correct here. Like I said, you can use your computer name if you're on the local area network. Uh, this is perfectly fine. I don't even show you. Well, let's hope that there's no problems. Okay, so let's make sure everything's set correctly. Okay, let's try to connect. All right, yeah, it, it connected correctly because we're on the same network. Okay, so let's go under test 2. Password is test, and we'll connect. Like I said, this is the first time we've used this user, so it needs to set up the uh, parameters for that user. And there we go. We basically just cleared our original test user of any errors he may, he may have had. So what we can do from here is just log off again. And once we log off, we can log back onto our test user. And this should automatically close and bring it back to our client machine. And like I said, if you're if you're connecting, uh, you know, from your company uh, or from work, you just have to enter your external IP address found at say ipmonkey.com, or if you know your external IP address, you can set it up there. As long as the computer on your network is accepting incoming connections, uh, and you have it set up to, um, you know. The, well, if you have the remote desktop connection software set up to accept incoming client connections, uh, then that should work for you. Okay, so let's go back and let's just say, for example, we want to enter information here. Test, test. We can certainly do that. We can enter our local IP address. And we can
could set our local IP address. And let's try to connect. This should automatically allow us to connect without entering information here because we entered it previously. So now we're back in business. We, we have our account up. All the errors have been cleared. We don't have to restart. We don't have to have somebody locally on the network to restart that computer. Um, a few few questions came up in the past is, you know, I need to bring up my alt control, alt control delete window. Like stated before, if you press your alt control delete, it's only going to bring up your client machine window. It's not going to bring up your target machine. So in order to bring up your target machine's alt control delete window, you need to press alt control and end. And you'll see here that this does come up for the target machine. And what's nice about this is if you're done with it or if you want to restart it or disconnect, you can also do it from here. I'll show you. You could just sit here and just turn the computer off, and we'll see how this works here. We can turn our computer off and see, and the connection, and there we go. And that's the tutorial on remote desktop connection.